What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't remember that? It, it was like halfway through a recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it all of a sudden stopped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I did not put my hand up like that. Dude, I found an old GoPro video of uh-huh. us. And was, bro, we have to record. Yeah, no, no. This is we're going. There's story. We're in it. Oh. We're in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? No. Smooth transition from real life to podcast. That's crazy. <laughs> it was <It's> not. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I found this video. Gavin and me playing ping pong, and he gets angry. He used to do this all the time. He would just get mad and then just like throw things. Because he's just like, oh, I'm angry. Oh, monkey, just I'm mad. Be, yeah, just be dramatic. Just throw his poop at you. When he's not actually angry. So he just like picked up a ping pong ball and like smacked on the paddle, hit me in the face. And my prepubescent <laughs> voice is like, ow. And Gavin's like, oh my gosh. Are you okay? Just like, ow. You hit me in the face, ow. idiot. <laughs> Bro, I gotta show you the video for you. We should put the was, audio in. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's too, <laughs> yeah, it's too much. I'm just gonna go off of my rendition now. But oh, I'll show you someday. It was terrible. Uh, it was terrible. Ow. <laughs> no. <laughs> ow. <laughs> Idiot. You hit me in the face. <laughs> and Gabby's just like, oh, 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 I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah, he would do it all the time. He would just get mad and just like, nah, oh, like a freak, a freak, like a freaking freak for oh. no reason. And then I would always reap the consequences of it. <laughs> we'll have to watch. I don't know if they're on, I think they're on the hard drive from the old laptop, but we used to make like home movies, like in videos of just like no, I don't think when so. friends were over. And uh, yeah, those are classic. We would just like. Be like, oh, the parents are having dinner. Let's like make a movie or something. And I was, it was always like robbing yeah, somebody. Yeah, loved crime. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kidnapping and robbing. Those were our favorite crimes. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> looks, sorry. Yeah, looks yeah, back sorry. at Olivia. <laughs> YouTube so got to see the, the thing that I did with uh, my face. Yeah, that roll was intro. Fun. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the podcast. This is us, episode 45, and we are here in the studio for you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is, uh, Parker, what's happened with you this week? Oh, did you guys... Huh? Okay, this is how we, this is how we started. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, do, the, do the intro thing. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hey guys! <laughs> uh, Welcome back to Gas Boys Podcast, episode forty-five. Gavin, go. Okay. Did you guys see that Mona Lisa got caked? Oh, what? <laughs> that was like three weeks ago. What's that? What? That was a long time. Ago. Really? Why did it just pop up on my feed? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what it happened? said it said this uh, maybe thirty-six-year-old man mm-hmm. dressed up as an elderly woman in a wheelchair. Okay. And got in looking at the Mona Lisa. It's, Obviously not just the Mona Lisa. It's got like a bunch of glass around oh, it to yeah. keep it protected, whatnot. But they th- were protesting something. I don't. Who knows Does what? He, do they go by they them pronouns? Or uh, I don't know. Might maybe. And they threw a cake uh, at the Mona Lisa and no, got it right no. on the middle. So if that glass hadn't been there, the Mona Lisa would have been caked, would have been destroyed, would have been done. <laughs> so we did it for all for nothing. Yeah, basically what a waste just to of make a. Cake. a st- I know to make a statement about what. I think it was. He said, "Think about the Earth." Think as he about threw it. it at it. Think about it. And that's it. Oh. Think about how it's flat. Probably. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. This cake represents the Earth. What? Uh, what news sources are you following? Yeah, Gavin. What irrelevant news source. Did you find that from? I don't know. It just popped up. I don't even remember who it was from. Hmm. Interesting. Because that was yeah, that was a while ago. But it still. That was a while ago. Crazy. Yeah. A couple Maybe weeks. it just happened again. Oh my gosh. Another it's person. It's a pandemic. It's a an pandemic. epidemic. It's an of epidemic. Yeah. Mona Lisa caking. And I am sick of it. The Mona Lisa is a lot smaller painting than I thought it was. Is it? Yeah. 
I always thought it was that small. So really, I thought That's it was me. bigger than that. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was the same. Maybe it's just me. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Uh, but guess what else happened this week? <laughs> what? Or happened? actually, it actually happened this week because apparently that was weeks ago. Yeah. I graduated college. Nobody cares. That's right. I didn't even Round walk of, at my graduation. Nobody cares. Round of applause for Mr. Bachelor degree. Yep. Uh, How do you feel about it now? I feel pretty good. Uh, it feels like I still have the same amount of knowledge. Yeah, as I did when I started. You should be able to tell me anything about business, right? Yeah, now. any business, anytime. We should probably do a quiz on him. What's the number one business? Uh, banking. False. Is it? Grapes. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Agriculture. Actually. Agriculture. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, I think the hip hop industry is the number one business. Yeah. Oh. Why? Well, let me because let me scotch self-explanatory, self-explanatory. When is the last time you listened to a banking service on the radio? Uh, yesterday. Okay, Gavin, liar. It was an ad. <laughs> this is yeah, it was bad. not entertaining. Yeah, it wasn't. You're right. Hey, but it's okay. But it's okay because we recognize that, and, and now we're gonna move. And now on. we're gonna move on from there, mm-hmm. and it's okay. It's bigger okay. and better things. Because it happens to the all. Nobody all of cares. Us. <laughs> Christian though he graduated. Christian, be Christian like. graduated on Thursday. I had zero clue that this was happening. Yeah. Nobody cares. That is this so, is what I'm. I, this is what makes me respect him so much. I had no idea that he was having a ceremony. Did you wear a cap and gown? Uh, yeah, my well, I had well, I wasn't gonna go, but because it's just like in a parking lot. But my mom wanted to, so it's like, yeah, I'll do it. Because That's so she wanted to take pictures and stuff, which is understandable. Um, so, yeah, she got me. I used Grace's old gown from when she graduated nice. a couple oh, years okay. back. Nice. And then Did we got a cap. sister's gown? Yo. That's Yo. so sus. What? And isn't the gown like a dress? Yeah. Yo. It's like a nightgown or something? That's oh. crazy. It's a day gown, I think. Yeah. Mm. But, yeah, it was fun. We, it, we It lasted like six minutes. Like, it was a pretty long time. It felt long while I was doing it. Yeah. And so we just took a picture or two, uh, and then we went to get ice cream, and that was that. Is then that I it? saw Top Gun afterwards. Nice. Oh, that was that same day, and I had no idea that you just. I had came your straight from graduation to Top Gun. That is awesome. Yeah, yeah. That was just compared Thursday. to that was all, that was every Friday. other person I know who's graduated. I I see pictures or I just hear about it somehow. Yeah. Not this guy. Sorry. You know, it's cognito funny. mode. Is I drove past the parking lot that Christian had just graduated in no. three minutes after he graduated. Yeah. Liar. I didn't even know because oh. I didn't see him. Was there a graduation happening? There was a bunch. There was like, there wasn't a bunch of people. There was like 10 cars in the parking lot and they're mm-hmm. filtering through. But I didn't see his car or him. Yeah, we had just left. So I just missed him. Man. Now that is tough luck. Yeah. yeah. It was just, it was like a tent, like a little tent. You know, like when... There's like a baseball tournament or something, and like one of the families brings a little shade tent. Yeah. Like it's just like four spokes or four like poles in the. There was no stage or anything? No, it was just a tent with like some balloons and then like four people that would cheer as you walked up. That is terrible. And then they'd be like. They played music too, didn't they? Yeah, they played some like orchestral orchestral music. Uh Orchestrative music. Uh Uh, A lot of violins, a lot of strings. And so you just walk up there and they start cheering. It's like, yeah. Yeah, man. And then they're like, you like. Oh, then you go up and you shake the hand. You do like a fake handshake and grab the diploma. You don't actually shake their hand? No, you do. Oh, you do. Oh. But you just hold it there so yeah, that they yeah. can take pictures. And it's like. And then you go. Then you take a picture with your family. Nice. Yeah. Dude, all mine was was I walked across the stage of an empty auditorium, except for my family and this other guy's family. <laughs> so there were just the two of us. They would do two students at a time. We'd go up there. We wouldn't even like shake the. Principal's hand. We just stand there with our diploma. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Did you Two enjoy people? that? Yeah. yeah. That was it. In the just in the background. Yep. Yeah. Woo. Dang. It was the worst. My my graduation was like packed full of people. Yeah. Tell us more, Gavin. How many people were in there? Yeah. A thousand. That's really awesome for something. You. How many people do you think wanted to be there? I didn't. Mm, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kidding. Hey, graduation can be cool if you have people there that are. That Dude, you want to be there with? I was I'm so sure sick. He didn't, my yeah, graduation. he didn't even want to be there. He had pneumonia. Or yeah, something. so I graduated in 2018, and I oh, was, that was, was pneumonia huge. year. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> that pneumonia was, was big, going That crazy. was the year of pneumonia. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I had like a fever. I was on a like I had finally gotten uh, 
some medicine. He got wheeled in on a gurney, basically. Yeah, and they stood me up, and my friends carried me. You ever seen Frankenstein? Because that wasn't what he was like. No. It was almost, though. I was on a bunch of medicine, though, and I felt fine for the 30 minutes. You were off the juice. Hour-ish yeah. that I was on stage and walked. Then I felt really bad afterwards. He got voted best eyes, though. Yeah. <laughs> So that's something. Uh, but he couldn't see pneumonia coming, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, true. Oh, yeah. No one can see it coming, man. It's a sickness. No. It is a disease and it is deadly. So. so something I've been thinking about, you just really got me on that with pneumonia. Uh, the flu, right? Why is that like the one disease that we compare everything to? Everything is it's like, flu. oh, he has flu like symptoms. What does he have? Not Everything the flu. Is the he flu. has a cough. Yeah. I'm a throwing cold. up. Oh, you have the flu. I have a cold. Oh, you have the flu. People call the, no, I thought no, the I'm, flu. I'm saying like, like, flu even like when symptoms. you don't have the flu, but everything is flu like symptoms. Like, I know. Bro, that's just being sick. Mm-hmm. But also, that, okay, a different thing. People, I've heard the flu being referred to like when you have like a, like when you're throwing up. Yeah. The flu, stomach mm-hmm. flu. And then I've also heard people, like, when they have, like, a head cold, they call it the flu. They call it the head flu. So, I don't know. I think it's all over the place. The flu is everything. It's, very, it's a very so fluid many. definition. What is influenza, technically? Uh, Let's not look it up. I don't know. When you have a bunch yeah. of social media followers. <laughs> I'm an influenza. I'm an influenza. <laughs> it's spreading. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm on fire today. Oh, are you? Let me get the fire extinguisher. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, we saw Top Gun without Gavin, and it was awesome. Yeah, Yeah. Such a good movie, genuinely. You got to watch it. Okay. Have you seen the first one? No, I haven't. But I still love the the second one. Whoa. I don't the first one is not very good, and the second one is good. Yeah, honestly. Like, you can still watch it, I guess, for context. But I don't know. It's just not, uh, I just can't get into it. Yeah. One of the people we went to was like, yeah, it's. Not as good, but it's like the 80s. It's like, okay, well, that, I guess it was good for its time, but it doesn't mean it's good. Yeah. Did you... And there's still movies that are old that are still good. I just, I just don't think it's a good movie. Was it one of you guys that told me, like, the like when the first yeah. uh, Top Gun came out, like, the Air Force, like, recruits, like, in like recruitment increased, like, 200% of, like, applications really? that people really? were sending in? Yeah. Because, like, of the movie, they were like, oh, yeah, I want to, like, join the Air Force. That's crazy. That's cool, though. So I think they are like, kind of hoping that would happen <laughs> this time. I yeah. bet it did. I bet it will. I don't know. Movie's the so amount popular. of mustaches that have oh, been I know. seen since that. Yeah. It's an epidemic. Yeah, for real. They're cool, though. Mustaches are cool. I've been trying to get Devin to shave one into his face for the longest time. Shave one he into his face? It. Yeah. Yeah. What else do you do? Shave it off your face? Shave everything else off your face. Yeah. How do you shave that smug look off your face? Yeah, man. What was I gonna say? You know, I hate you, when that happens. You were talking about Top Gun. I was. You said we went to that. So. Yeah, good movie. Good movie. Yeah. A little slow at the beginning. I want to be honest. I the like first half was kind of slow. Just like we're just getting into it. Still, it's just like a lot yeah. of build up. But all of that build up kind of paid off at the end when like like the last thirty minutes. It was just so. It was cool. just like a it was so action cool. sequence, like one thing after the other, after the other, after the other. So all the build up, all build up, kind of paid off. But there's just nice. one girl pilot too, and as soon as she, oh my oh. gosh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, we gotta, we really gotta do something about this. This is getting out of hand. I'm gonna have to intervene. <laughs> the aha uh-huh has been all over the place lately. Aha uh-huh is really just flaunting it in our face that they're not gonna give us any money, and they I never know. will. What it's just so do? rude. The cans, all you listening on audio, the aha uh-huh cans just fell. And landed and on, landed on my head. And they tried to kill him. All that tin. I will not stand for aluminum. it. Aluminum. I will not stand for it. Uh, no, anyways, the girl pilot, she looks exactly like Kylie Jenner, but not surgeried. It's crazy. Dang. Oh, yeah, true. So all of you have seen Top Gun. Let me know if you agree. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Comment below. Yeah. Good movie. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the first one once. Um... When I was a senior in high school or something. So four years uh-huh. ago. And I thought it was pretty good. Nothing yeah. crazy like I haven't seen it The since. average action movie. Yeah. Is but it? everybody says it's the best. But so. it's airplanes. Why? Do, yeah. Airplanes, airplanes are, are cool. cool. Why, do, why does everybody think it's the best though? Or why is it so amazing? Oh, I don't know. Because, because Tom Cruise. 
People no, love I've Tom heard Cruise. a lot of mixed reviews on Tom's on Tom Cruise. Oh. He's like a Scientologist, right? Is that true? Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? It's like a weird religion, kind of like thing. culty. Yeah. Yeah. I think they believe the Earth is flat. You have to Probably. buy levels of. <laughs> you have to like. So it's like Clash of Clans. So it's kind of like <laughs> Fortnite almost. Yeah. Interesting. But you keep leveling up, and you have he to has pay the, the Scientology battle pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's thousands of dollars, probably millions. You know what's crazy? This I remember what I was going to say. Okay. You told me this. The U.S. Navy has the second largest air force in the world. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that's true. The U.S. Air Force is the first biggest air force. Yeah. U.S. Yeah. Navy is the second biggest air force. That is crazy. The Navy? Yeah. yeah. Dang. How many planes are in the Let world? Let me verify this. Okay. So the Navy. Used to be true. So all those, what we have like the biggest air, we have like the most or the biggest aircraft carriers. Oh, I think we, do. we have like three or something. We have like multiple. And than that. So the planes that are on those aircraft carriers are those considered the Navy or the Air Force? That's well, that is an air. That they're part of the Navy, but the Navy has they're the part of the Navy fleet. largest air force, a force of right. the air, not uh-huh. Air Force, but the largest. Air yeah, force. Yeah. <laughs> With approximately 3,700 aircraft, the Navy is the second largest air force in the world, second only to the U.S. Air Force itself. How many, how many does the U.S. Air Force have? Like 3,700? 37 is the Navy. That's insane. That's a lot of airplanes. It's so cool. A couple how, million apiece? Yeah, the what? A couple million dollars apiece for, per aircraft. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. How they have such a short runway mm-hmm. when they land... They're little like wires that catch them. Yeah. So sick. The US Navy has thirty seven hundred. The the US Air Force has fifty two hundred and seventeen. Oh, I thought you were gonna say fifty two thousand. Wait, who has the most? US Air Force. What is it? Fifty two hundred and seventeen. Fifty two hundred. Wow. US Navy's thirty seven hundred. That's even that's like close too. Yeah. That's like the third largest air force. Probably India. No China. No. No. France. No, they suck. You don't think like they don't have an air force. I would say like China or Russia. Probably Russia. I'm going to say China. Final answer. Okay, China. North Korea. Is it? Hold on. Uh, oh, interesting. Interesting. The Philippines. South okay, okay. So this them. is if we add all of the branches of the of the military uh-huh. together, this is just how much Air Force ex- the country countries yeah. have. So China yes. has third. No, this is third. Oh. China has 3,285. 1,900 in the Air Force, 800 in the Army, 400 in the Navy, with some change. Uh, Russia has 4,173, 3,800 in the Air Force, 310 in the Navy. Oh, so Russia's number two. United States has 13,000. USA. 5,200 in the Air Force, 4,400 in the Army, 2,464 in the Navy, 1,100 in the Marines. Wait, what? Wait, so our Army is the second largest Air Force? Oh, maybe it passed, because this is in 2022. Oh, we are just dominating in airspace. everything. No, but this is also May 6, 2022, it says Navy is 3,700 <laughs> aircraft. They just can't get there. How much straight. more do we spend on our military than everybody else? A lot like more. A lot more. more. Billion times. Bro, because we started producing a whole lot of stuff during the world wars, mm-hmm. and then we never stopped. So we have a yeah. lot of money like, in okay. the military. Something I just learned at lunch today. The U.S. government has a like a reserve supply of cheese. What? Like one point something billion pounds of oh, cheese, right? yeah, or and there's a, a cave somewhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's so sick. Yeah, I checked it real quick. Uh, we just have cheese. Why do we need that? Government cheese cave. <laughs> what do you What do you need with cheese cave che- and food su- surpluses? Why the U.S. government currently has a cheese cave? <laughs> no <way. laughs> Hundreds of feet below the ground in Missouri. <gasps> Missouri. In Missouri. We have friends in Missouri. You we guys. can go on a cheese hunt. There are hundreds of thousands of pounds of American cheese deep in converted limestone. Yeah, I doubt it's a billion pounds. Maybe it was like a billion dollars. <laughs> a billion <worth>. pounds, dude. It's <laughs> so much Bro. cheese. <laughs> a billion pounds? There's no way. Do you have any tons? A billion. Of there are hundreds of thousands of pounds tons of American of cheese deep in converted limestone mines caves, kept perfectly at 36 degrees Fahrenheit. How much is that Store worth? stockpiles of government-owned cheese comprising the country's 1.4 billion pounds of surplus cheese. Oh, okay, I was right. <laughs> Billions of pounds of surplus cheese. How much non surplus cheese do we <laughs> do have? We have? How we much have- cheese is in the US? <laughs> why do why we keep producing it if we have 
a one and a half billion Honestly, pounds of what extra. What are we gonna? What, we're gonna like. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> we gonna fuel stuff <laughs> on cheese or something? <gasps> Cheese fuel. Cheese, cheese car. Elon, Elon, hop on that right if now. If we don't get a cheese car within the next five years, how much cheese do you think it would take to gas boys cheese car? <laughs> <laughs> how oh much cheese do you think it would be? To, it would what to like go? So like an average car takes like let's say thirty miles to the gallon yeah. of gas. How many gallons of cheese do you need? <laughs> What's the pounds? ratio of cheese to gas in terms of combustion? <laughs> One pound <laughs> per. 20 miles. Really? Is that what is know? a cheese cave? Why does the government have their grubby little paws in our cheese? All over our cheese. Like, what? That that the grubby massive sense. paws over our one and a half billion pounds of extra cheese. I really want to know what... Why don't we give some cheese to like a country that is struggling Honestly, or something? Honestly... Yeah, what we have all this cheese and there's literally <laughs> starving countries out there. Okay, yeah, but, but how much... What is cheese going to do? It's going to clog it. you up. Like cheese is like... It can't be that good for you. Yeah. Cheese can't be that good for you. There's no way. Cheese isn't that good for you. So why do we have that much cheese? I don't because know. we don't use want it, for? it. Because we don't so want So much it. cheese. So like if people are dying, we That's give like them cheese. That's like such a slap in the face to starving people. Like, oh yeah. You need have cheese? All this. <laughs> it's too bad. It's in we the ground. buried in limestone in Missouri. Yeah. Come dig it up. Eat it. Imagine. No, can't. Okay, listen to this. The society falls apart as we know it. Okay. Nuclear warfare. You it's know, like Red Dog. Everything. We go back to jungle warfare. Yeah. Tribes. Thousands of years down the line, society is starting to rebuild. There's no America. There's no America. Missouri, there, everyone's exist. still in the jungle. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's this like tribe the idea of wandering like- through the Missouri jungle. And they as find soon as a the cave. world falls apart, everything becomes a jungle. <laughs> like all sorts of terrains that were never... No, the they're desert, jungle. They're just desert jungle. Jungle. <laughs> jungle. Sorry. I, I don't make the rules. And they're under, they find this entrance to a cave. They walk in the cave as they get deeper. Uh-huh. You smell that? A more billion. It smells, it smells like there used to be cheese here. It smells like there was cheese here. Then boom, they walk through a door. Oh, wait. A billion pounds of cheese. We're Eaten. saved. Opens the door. Billions of pounds of cheese yeah. smell has now been consumed by a mouse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he is 1. Be- 1.4 billion mice all in the cave. And then they run out and they devour everything in the world. Yeah. And, and it's gone. Imagine if a mouse gets in there. Oh. Bro. It'd mice- be like Splinter, Master Splinter from Ninja Turtles. Oh. Yeah. They would be... Mutated. His tail was thick, dude. That was yeah. creepy for real. And I gotta find. I was about take to your something. head clean off. I wonder, do mice actually just prefer cheese? Oh, bless you. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Uh, do mice just really love cheese, or was that just a stereotype that was forced on us? Forced on them. Yeah. What if they don't even like cheese? Yeah. What if all the mice out there are just like, please stop it? We don't really like it that much. Also, like. Uh, yeah, so like on mouse traps and stuff, we'll p- like put peanut butter. I've never put cheese on it. I've never even put a mouse trap out. Oh really? And then, all right. <laughs> Shoot. I wonder if you me. could do it louder. Probably. Um, bro. What? I'm just looking up aircraft carrier stats. You wouldn't get it. Oh. You haven't seen top. We gun. have like a lot compared to other. Bro, b- listen to this though. There's like. Not very many aircraft carriers. Yeah, we have, we just have most, most of the of world them. and we have like in 13. General. Yeah, so we have 11 aircraft carriers in service. Oh. The, Navy, the navies of China and the UK operate two aircraft carriers. India, France, Russia, and Italy operate a single aircraft carrier each. And that's the only countries that have... So there's like eight... There's like... Hold on. Italy, France, We have Russia, 11. India? China, Combined, UK. Like so four. share one. No. Four plus three, seven... There's 18 aircraft carriers in the world, and we have 11 of them. How did they use them for Top Gun? I know they just the rented US one. Army. Yeah, what? What if they, they, they were that renting? For battle? They were renting them for like the aircrafts, eleven thousand dollars an hour. How do you know that? I don't know. Hannah said it. Oh, I heard her. The average Hannah propaganda. Yeah. <laughs> we call her imagine? propaganda. Imagine Anna. paying eleven thousand dollars an hour for something. Like a jet? I could probably yeah. swing that. One hour for a jet? 
I would do it. Uh-huh. I'd just go up into space. Oh, well, somebody might have done that. Not really. You just think there's a moon landing? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I, I don't think so. there's a reason. Do you guys think we'll ever live on Mars? I don't think so. I think some Elon Musk try. says maybe. Like, we won't. I don't think. I don't think us will. Dude, uh, Elon. He said two years there will be. In he says years? so much stuff. He yeah. says that we're get, we'd have cars driving themselves. Like Liar. Next year. And he said that for the past like 10 years. They've also been saying that the world's going to end for like True. the last 10 years. What's up with this world ending propaganda? Do you remember hearing? like middle school? I guess I was in middle school. You were probably in elementary school. But in a in my seventh grade science class, they were telling us about uh, this super volcano. The big one. That's supposed to erupt in Yellowstone. In Yellowstone. Oh, that yeah, will yeah, destroy yeah. the world or yeah. at least the U.S. And like here in Oregon, we would be toast. Yeah. Human like, toast. So quickly. I don't remember what it was from, if just the explosion would kill us or like all the ash and everything, but I was so freaked out (laughs) as a middle schooler. Like I come home from science and I'm like, we're all going to die. And that's it. And then he hit me in the face with a ping pong ball to get his rage out. And then Parker started screaming or something. But what was up with that? Like, when's that supposed to happen? That was seven... Eight years ago? Yeah. When was the last time they predicted the world's going to end? They've been kind of chill Actually, about that, that lately. That. that was like 10 years ago. Because I remember multiple times growing up, there were days where people were like, oh, yeah, this day, everyone's, this it's over. They said it's like years to it. overdue, too, Just, to happen. There's a, there's a theory that the world actually ended in 2012. And we've just been in an alternate reality simulation ever since. Yeah. Like, like the that, Matrix? That makes sense. Like the, exactly like the Matrix. You ever seen The Matrix? He has no. We should about watch it, it sometime. Week. Yeah, I know. I know, like the story, but Wait, I haven't we seen did it talk movie. about it last week. Yeah. Wait, maybe we're. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. You don't think? Is is the week repeating itself? Yep, the weekend is repeating itself. <laughs> <laughs> should have stopped listening to the weekend when I had the chance. <laughs> Never should have been blinded by the lights. <laughs> You have to call out his name three times for it to stop. <laughs> what? Start what is, what is happening? Oh, you know. guys, I want to tell you about something okay. that's important okay. that could affect us all. Okay. Oh, no. Sudden adult death syndrome. <laughs> It was, rec- <laughs> it was recognized. <laughs> it was rec- It was a disease. It's a syndrome or disease where you just die. Recognized by the CDC. What? This that just recently. How can that be a syndrome? I know. It's just dying. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, what? What were you diagnosed with? I heard you went. To, you had an appointment today. I got sads. I got sudden death syndrome. Actually, <laughs> sudden. what? There's Sudden no death. symptoms until there is. Yeah, you can't diagnose that until it's happened. Yeah. It's like, why is he dead? Oh, he had the SADS. Yeah, he had SADS. Like, well, oh, he was like, like mental issues? Like, he was depressed? Like, what's going No, he was just SADS. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. okay. that's a real thing. Yeah, that's pretty. That How do you just not die? Make... How do you just reasons? die for no reason? It's there's always so... a reason. No, but I've just heard of people just. Everything just stops, and they can't trace it back to one thing. What? Yeah. When? Who? People, Gavin. Like, sometimes people die in their sleep, and, yeah. like, they're just, like... It's like, they were young and healthy, and what just happened? Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. Perform the autopsy. It's extremely rare, and it won't happen to the young children listening right now. It'll happen to the adults. That's but, yeah, called. the adults, it'll be sudden, and it'll be syndrome. Yeah. Dang. Do you hear about Justin Bieber's face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw a video of him explaining it. Like his whole, uh, one of his sides. His left side? No nerves. He didn't blink with that eye for the entire, like, video that he did. Apparently, he can go to physical therapy and it'll, like, yeah, he'll start getting I don't feeling think it's back. Permanent. Yeah, they didn't say it was permanent. No, could you imagine if it was permanent? He had to, like, cancel his, his career tour. would be over. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was somebody who did get it that it was permanent and, like, oh, I think it was, like, some weightlifter. Somebody oh. was telling me. Don't your eyes require blinking, though? How does, I don't know. He, how does he not blink? Don't they just dry out without blinks? I think his eyes are shut. No, his eye was open and not blinking for the entire oh, time. Oh, well, I, the picture I saw, his eyes was closed. Interesting. His eye was closed. Well, that's good. Yeah, I don't know. Keeping those things wet. It's also you couldn't sleep if your eyes were 
couldn't be. True. He just has to get into bed and just (laughs) (laughs) manually close his eye. Uh, That would be terrible. I really like Justin Bieber though. Yeah. 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 I started following him for a while on Instagram because he posts too much. Yeah. I Sorry, kept Justin. getting NFTs. People were just, he was just <laughs> posting <laughs> NFTs like crazy. They call him NFJB. Oh, I thought his last name was T, but that's Justin Timberlake. <laughs> NFJT. Oh, <laughs> so close. Justin Timberlake. You ever listen to him? Yeah. yeah I'm not a fan. I yeah. don't like him. Yeah. What is that song that's really long? Mirrors. Trolls. What? What? Mirror? Yeah. Yeah, it's like eight minutes long. It's the same thing over and over again. But uh Sorry, JT. I doesn't. I think he has a bunch of Christmas music that we listen to. I think that's Michael Bublé. Oh yeah, maybe it's not Justin Timberlake. Well, we don't like we don't like Michael here because he yeah. advertises with Bubbly. Oh, and what? That's just gross. Oh gosh. Yeah. You're better than that, Michael. You're better than that. Something that I saw this week okay. that I thought was pretty interesting uh, is 3D printed houses. Oh, that is actually People interesting. Are, they're How starting do you get to that make big them. Of a printer. Well, uh. They're making it out of concrete. So it's this robotic arm that has this blueprint of a house, and it goes layer by layer, like laying out concrete in like all sorts of shapes. I don't know exactly how the arms work, but it's it's kind of insane. Is it just a massive 3D printer? Basic. It, it's not enclosed. It's got to be like open. super quick oh. drying stuff because how they do windows if they're all concrete? I don't know. I didn't see any windows. <laughs> it's just an asylum creator. It's a cave. <laughs> so it, I don't know if they have to put them in or what, but because I keep I kept seeing stuff about like Mars. Like this guy is like making these foam houses with uh like a foam three D printer, and it's got like all this fiberglass like interwoven into the foam, uh-huh. which makes the frame, and then they'll put concrete on the outside. But then there's also like a bunch of houses being being made right now that are all out of concrete, and this thing this machine just goes around. And like outlines this house out of concrete. So, I mean, they that already have sick concrete houses, but like that's gonna be that's pretty something neat. that's gonna mass be production of concrete soon. houses. Yeah, yeah. But it'd be cheaper than like wood, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to pay for labor either. Yeah, just this machine. Yeah. But imagine the guy that created this machine. Like, how much money he's gonna be able to make if he can? Tr- like, he's probably already pat- patented. The design and trademarked all this stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, like if he sells this design to one company and then they're just making concrete houses everywhere. Plus they say super or like super cool in different climates. Like yeah, that's pretty common. Cool. Like uh, other parts of the world, they make like houses out of mud and stuff because it keeps it a lot cooler because uh-huh. it's such like hot temperatures. So like in desert climates, be pretty smart to have Good a concrete insulation. house. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's so, neat. It's That's interesting. Neat. I wonder what Mars colonies are going to be like. Um, oh, they'll have those kind of stuff. What kind of government are they going to have up there? Same government here. They, they said have, they... Oh, fair enough. Oh, yeah. Gavin knows the Mars government, guys. Dude, I was listening to Elon Musk's podcast, an episode with Joe Rogan again. Oh, yeah. And he was talking about how like the only way they'd be able to survive is if we kept like sending them supplies from Earth. Sorry, until they could then happen. supply Mars, and then eventually Mars would be able to sustain itself and then would start sending stuff to other planets. But he said that would have to be over like millions and billions of years. What? Billions yeah. of years? Yeah. How? I don't know. How Would it really take that long for Mars to become self sufficient? I don't know. If they just. They I don't, I don't a, think we'll ever live on Mars. You make a plant, you let the plant grow, then you harvest make, the seeds and make more plants. It's yeah. not that hard. Ever seen the movie The Martian? Yeah. Just send over a bag of seeds and we'll repopulate. Honestly. Yeah. Not enough oxygen, though. Yeah, that's what the seeds are for. They'll make plants that make oxygen. But you need water. No. Oh, yeah. How are they going to make water up there? I don't know. Because there's like a bunch of dry areas that used to be oceans and lakes or whatever, supposedly. They think. Like ocean and like creek beds. But there's no water up okay, there. Okay, listen to this theory, Okay. Okay. Humans mm-hmm. used to live on Mars, and then we treated it so poorly, the climate, it warmed up. Oh. We sent two humans Stop, you're scaring me. to Earth, and their names, guess what their names were? Adam and Shmeev. Adam and Eve. Oh, so close. Oh. Yeah. And then they just made Earth 
And that's where we are now. That's where we is. Wow. So I don't know. What Boo. a bad theory that is. <laughs> it's a bad theory. I just yeah, that'd be cool if that was the thing though. If, if we could, could just move. have like other planets that we could go to. Instead of different countries, we had different planets. Then we can actually have Star Wars. You yeah. think people would actually go to other planets? We barely oh, even yeah. go to other countries. Well, there's some people who go to other countries often. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? People You'd go to, to other countries all the time. I'm just saying, like, are you saying you personally? Yeah. Yeah, you never go to other You've countries. Never go to other countries. Been to Mexico, but hey, zip it. Never been. To Imagine other going continents. to a different planet for vacation, dude. Yeah. That's crazy. Have you seen those pictures? Okay, just like sorry, transportation that just takes you up into space, and it's like these like weird like train looking things. Yeah, yeah, that's super kind of a like neat, utopian things. I know those pictures. It's like retro sick. futurism. Yeah, it's super cool looking. Uh, Man. Dude, honestly, I'm gonna go to space before I die. Really? I've gotta. What if you die in space? So be it. I don't care. How cool would that be? Shoot me out of a cannon into space. When I'm 90. And then you'll be able to see that the earth is actually flat. You won't be able to tell us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said that a radio signal. You're Dang like it. on Instagram live. Ah! Wait, what about that guy that went into space and like parachuted from up there? He didn't go into space. <laughs> he went to like. He's like, all right, I'm going to parachute. And then he jumps out. He's like, he's like oh, oh, I'm not falling. <laughs> he's like, oh, oh what something do I do? Go, has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> What's happening? Just floating there. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Bill. We but he he didn't. Yeah, he didn't go all the way into space, but he was really high in the atmosphere. Yeah. True. He was. He could. He could be able to see the curve from there. The curve of the Earth. Oh, you mean the walls? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you mean the barriers? Flat You'd be Earth. able to touch the dome from there. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. Dang. <sighs> Imagine that. You guys ever seen the flag of Mars? No. It is crazy. Who made it? I don't know. Some guy. From but Earth? it's like red. Green and blue, like super ugly. That's colors. terrible. Yeah, That's we cannot speak for Mars. What if there's Mars aliens that came that we just haven't seen? They came to Earth and, and saw like, the flag oh. that we made for Mars. And they destroy like, us. What is this? They come here and just make us an Earth flag. Yeah, imagine we go to Mars <laughs> and there's already society there and they made us a flag and it's <laughs> ugly. Yeah. We'd blow How them insulting up. would that be? How many different countries have put their flags up on the moon or right. Mars? Just the US. That'd be cool. No. Other countries haven't? We China haven't. People haven't Russia. been to the moon since, uh, like, lot like originally. Yeah, but why Isn't would they put their flag up there? Really? We just went once. And we're like, okay, we're good. Yeah. I don't know. Well, it's super, super expensive. So if you don't, but they did it with like such bad technology. I know the technology isn't the problem. The problem is the money. Like to be the first people to be on the moon is worth the money. To go up there just for fun, it's like so much money for like really no reason just think yeah. just think of the expenses it's like the housing market right now the gas imagine gas all the prices. gallons of gas it's at least a hundred dollars imagine the rocket fuel yeah yeah Hundreds it would be of billions probably of dollars man but is it real that's the question yo there's this new space telescope that's like a bajillion times better than the Hubble Space Telescope, really? which is the best Whoa. one we have now. And they sent it up into the uh, into space what? a few weeks ago. You haven't heard about this? Why would they send it up into space? Oh, so they can look through it in space? Yeah. Oh, to see further. They don't space? actually go to it in space and look through the telescope, but they can take pictures through like the with telescope. The computer. Like the Hubble Space Telescope, I don't think is on the Earth. Yeah, who knows? I don't no, know. no, I don't want to. Pretty sure stupid. it is. Well, I know the new one is up in space. That's how they're using it. Where is the Hubble Space Telescope? Let's, let's find this out. We Hubble gotta know. Hubble Space Telescope. Man, I am just congested. Yeah, it's right now. launched into er, like er, orbit. Uh -huh. So yeah, these these telescopes are out in the <laughs> orbit, and uh, but this this big one, it's not anywhere near Earth. It's out in like the solar system, mm -hmm. uh, Fair enough. where there's a bunch of like tiny tiny microscopic space debris. Um, and so it, it got hit by some space debris that was bigger than Wait, they the had new hoped. one. The new one did. Dang it. It's been up there for a few weeks. And so now all the pictures that come out are going to have a little spot oh. in them where it was hit by like Dang. literally like microsco microscopic like debris, like, like a dust particle size. Dang it. So, um, but so on July 12th though, uh huh. They're, the pictures are going to come out from this new space telescope. Like, we'll be able to see things. It'll be, like, revolutionary. 
to like we'll be able to see things that'll be awesome like wait they're saying it's like june 12th dang it it'll be in a month so they're but they're saying like it'll be it'll like transform the way we see space what if it's so much stuff because we've never seen before what if they took a picture of the moon with the u.s flag on it how sick would that be can you see they're gonna be looking at galaxies like billions of light years Ah, away that's insane man what is time to be alive called the web telescope yeah so like yeah they'll be able to see like how galaxies are born and the life cycle of stars and stuff because they can see like they'll be able to see like the oldest uh-huh. uh like the oldest things in the universe because they'll be able to see like so many years into the past because of how fast light travels Wait. And, like in light years oh yeah like we can only see like when we see things that because we're probably not in the middle of the universe no, we definitely are, and it's actually a dome that we're in. But <laughs> the universe dome, a flat universe theory. Uh, oh yeah, we're not. I don't know. Actually, <laughs> are we in um, the middle? I don't think so. Uh, biblically, I think no. I don't know if we. I mean, I don't even know. I don't know, because like the theory, is, like the biblical theory, is that light has been expanding ever since God spoke it into existence. So that's the constant expansion of the universe. Uh-huh. Where did it start, though? <sighs> Where he said it on Earth, probably. But, you know, that's all speculation. But, yeah, so we'll be able to see, like, the life cycle of stars and, and like, uh, like things that happened, like, at the beginning of the universe because we'll be able to see so far into the past since we're c- covering such a far distance. Dang. That's so weird. Time travel must be real, then. You can probably do it. Well, if we went there, we'll like... Off. The thing is, like, if we're seeing it from this far, we can see it, in, like, into the past... But if we went there, we'd be experiencing it as how it, it is. How would it be possible to see Yo, something actually, that happened a long time ago, but you're able to see it? Because light travels, just like, you know, when a firework blows up and you hear it way after it's happened. Light also has a speed. It's just very, very fast. You can't notice it affects until it's trillions of miles away. But what are they using to look down there? That's light. Yeah. So they're using light to go. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Light has reached it. Oh, so also if we placed, this is all theoretical. Uh, like there's no way we could actually do this. Yeah. But if we place like a massive mirror, like hundreds of light years or millions of light years into like out in space. What is a light year? And that how a light year is when uh, light takes light a, year a year to tr- how far light goes into a year. Which it's is like, really far. It's like a few trillion miles, yeah. I think. Um, so if we sent like a million light years, uh, a mirror out there, um, from the point it's been out there, we couldn't see behind, like we couldn't see if we looked at it in a telescope, we could see into the past. We couldn't see, we can't see like before it's, it's been up there. We can only see like, like once it's up there, we can only see from that point forward. Uh But if people like a million years in the future looked at that telescope and it was a million oh, light years. By the time it takes and it was a million light years away. Us. Oh, if it was a million light years away, and people a million years in the future like looked at it, they'd be able to see the Earth as it was when we first put it up there a million years oh, ago. That is whack. Yeah, because of how long. Because of how long it takes that. light to travel. <laughs> that blew his mind. That is blowing my mind right I now. I know, man. man. Uh, I know, dude. Science is crazy. Science be like crazy. You guys want to do some random thoughts? <laughs> yeah, let's get into it. Oh, here, Let's I have something it. for Let's you. Get it. Okay. okay. Let me read you an article here. Actually, I have to pull it up. It won't take long, though. Invasive earthworms on steroids spreading in the Northeast. In the Northeast? Yeah, man. How would we do the that? The earthworms already established in the Midwest have the potential to wreak havoc on the landscape. <laughs> take that, Massachusetts. Yeah. Massachusetts deserved this. <laughs> what is that? Movie with the worms that like eat people. Tremors. Tremors. What? Yeah, I never, Dude. I never watch it. Yeah, you wouldn't get it. Like these worms come out of the ground and eat people. It's kind of like in Star Wars or Dune if they have those. They have death worms, the desert worms. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So that's interesting. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, earthworms on steroids. Look out. Oh yeah. If you're in the north. Put them on steroids. Right? It's like who, who let that happen, huh? That huh? was my thought when I heard that. Yeah, seriously. What? So, yeah, just keep your eyes out, I guess. No. You got anything, Gav? Yeah, uh, I was washing my hands the other day. 
And you know, have you you've probably seen on bottles where it's like now in a bigger bottle? Yes. <laughs> yeah, dude. The big bottles. Yeah. So it's like. It's like, oh, was in a 12.6 fluid oh. ounce bottle, now in an 18 ounce bottle. Yes. You're welcome. Thanks. And it's like, what is that? Yeah, what is that? No, like, what, why does it matter that it's in a bigger bottle? Because you get more. You yeah, get more. but you still, you still pay more for it. It's not like, oh, it's the same price and a bigger bottle. It's like, oh, you're paying more for a product and... It there's more in a bottle, so why wouldn't that makes, got, that makes sense? She just bought two regular size bottles. Yeah, stupid, <laughs> stupid. I, I just don't. I don't get it. <laughs> what do you mean? Why Why would you want a bigger bottle if you're just paying more? Unless it's like a then convenience to, thing. Yeah, then you don't have to buy as much. Also, sometimes, 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 <laughs> sometimes <laughs> things that are in the bigger bottle. Uh, sometimes uh, when something's in a bigger bottle, it'll be like the price per ounce is less. Yeah. More efficient price wise. So I bet you feel real bad about yourself now. Yeah, but maybe do some research next time before you say stupid things, okay? <laughs> oh, it's a random thought, so <laughs> <laughs> Is that so funny? Mm, Parker, you got one? <laughs> no, but No, nah, like, I'm just saying. It's like buying stuff in bulk. Yeah. Like at Costco, you ever been to Costco? No. People love Costco because it's cheaper because like cheaper by the ounce or by the pound. So is it really cheaper? Um, yeah. yeah overall, the... no. Yeah, but if you were to buy the same <laughs> amount, because of stuff. technically you're buying like this box of cheese that's for fifteen dollars, <laughs> <laughs> but it's more cheese. Yeah, it's more cheese that's per dollar. If you need to buy a lot of stuff, then it is cheaper. Like if you were to go buy a bunch of little things at a at a different store, or yeah. go to Costco and buy one big thing, yeah. the one big thing is a lot cheaper. But well, what are we doing wholesale. with the big bottles? Huh? It just doesn't make sense to me. The it big doesn't. bodies. What are we gonna do with the big body Benzes? <laughs> Probably keep know. driving them. Probably. Yeah. Okay, I just had this random thought. I didn't even write it down. It came to me during this podcast. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That, that is, is crazy. crazy. When we were talking about Mars and such, why do I have this desire inside of me to communist? With small groups, what to communist with them? Yeah. What so, do you mean to communist? With right, them? like communism on the big scale doesn't work. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if you believe it does, talk to me because it doesn't, and it's you're wrong. Talk Sorry, to them, I don't care. Sorry, yeah. But why do why do I want to have like why is it a dream of mine to just live on a like big piece of property? All my homies living there with their own separate houses and everything. We are all in the same property. Yeah. And like we have a community garden where we make food. That's a well that goes back to like it's like your tribe, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. why is you were so only is that that's like, like how we live for a lot of for a long time. You would have your group around you. Yeah. And you would survive with them and you would share with them and, and you would provide. You would go That'd out and hunt awesome. and bring food and you'd all get around the campfire and you'd eat it around the campfire. Yeah. Like there's this theory that we're not meant to uh to know as many people and to like interact with as many people as we interact as with these days. Is. That's like the negative effect that social media has yeah. on people. Like the theory is that we're not actually meant to interact with that many people. They say you should have like 15 close friends, like 50 friends that you know, and then like 200 acquaintances. Yeah. And then like a thousand people that you know that are those the actual like that. numbers? I don't know. It's something like that. I don't know if that's. I know it's. You're supposed to have fifteen close friends. Like though. let's just say though, theoretically, the three of us live in this place, mm-hmm. and say Gavin's good at hunting. I'm good at making weapons. Christian's good at building. I'm he loves, very good at building. Very good with the materials. Yeah. And we just live in this thing and you hunt for all of us i make everybody's weapons christian builds the freaking houses how sick yeah. would that be it'd be freaking sick it'd be freaking sick oh, yeah because that's how sick. like yeah if if you have a small community of people like that works if you have but if, if it's people a bunch are of like people, always but if it's a bunch if it's a bunch of people that don't even know each other yeah it's like when you have a group you want to provide for your group you want to defend your group and you really and you, know your group and you love the people in the group and you want them to survive yeah if there's a group with like uh, like America, three hundred million people. Yeah, there's, it doesn't work. It absolutely could never work because then people there's people that aren't doing anything. There's right, and there's people that they don't know you. People get greedy because like they don't 
They don't you, care you about you. You can't know 300 million people. You can't care about the well-being of 300 million people. Yep. You can exactly. care about the well-being of the people in your immediate group. Yep. Mm. But communism on a smaller scale. Big scale. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Oops. Yeah, that's my first random thought. Interesting. Christian? Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see here. Parker, okay, here's a question for you. Okay. And it's this quote, and it goes, uh, it goes, Gavin, don't even think about listening. Nice try, Gavin. I actually asked this question to Gavin a, li- a little bit ago. <gasps> this is kind of a, not really, it's just, it's a serious question, Parker, take this seriously. No. Okay. It, the question is, it's better to place those in your care. Ready? Competent than to protect them. Thoughts? What? Better to place those in your care, or better to make those in your care competent oh, than, to, okay. than to protect them from danger. Children. No, not children. Anyone in your care. Those in my care? Yeah. yeah. Give a man a, a fishing pole. Don't give him a fish. Yeah, give him competence. I could give him a fish, and I could keep him from being starving. But if I don't teach him how to fish, if I'm not there, he's dead. Sorry. You can protect him from danger. The wolves will eat him. But as soon as I'm not there to... Destroy the danger. Destroy. Destroy the danger. Destroy the danger. And they're dead. Destroy the danger. Sorry, I really am having a hard time speaking. It's okay. Is your nose? My of... nose is completely blocked up right now. It's terrible. Oh, did you? Uh, we were talking about this, Gavin. Uh, me and Parker were talking about this before. There's this uh, this article I saw. It was uh, like scientists are developing this thing, like theoretical. Like a uh, technology, like this biotechnology, something that could make you. It's like a drug, I think, but it could make oh, you feel yeah. like you are serving a thousand years sentence in eight hours. What? Like you could feel like it's like a, you'd put you into a dream, I guess, some kind of thing where your consciousness, you'd feel like you were experiencing and being in this, like, in they, they use it in the context of like prisoners. So yeah. you could be in prison for a thousand years. And then wake up eight hours later, and it was just, it just eight hours have passed. But you feel like you've been in prison for a thousand years. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? There was like a caption under it that was just like, "Wow, man-made horrors beyond my imagination." Yeah, man-made horrors <laughs> like, beyond my comprehension. That's insane. Nice. That's like re- reverse sleep because you go to sleep, a lot of time passes and it feels short. Yeah. Wait, no, that is exactly what it is then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're not sleeping. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Oh, I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Yeah, yeah. Sleep, it feels short, but it's actually a lot of time. And this thing, it feels like a long time, but it's short. So I was right the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Dude, so it's, it's like, like magnets no, it's where they have like their inception. own gravity. There's got to be like some, Parker, you'll learn about this this summer. That cannot be ethical. No. That could not be used no. for good. Like that would, even like that, that you could, that would be questionable ethics, even for like the worst prisoners like that would, them. but even the fact that that is in that is a technology See? that can be used by anyone that will obviously get in the hands of the wrong person and yeah. you, you could literally like that could be the worst form of torture ever presented to mankind because you could feel like you're living in eternity yeah and if that's just eight hours a thousand years is eight hours dude what oh, dude imagine if you actually if someone was in there for a week that would really screw that's up like a hundred thousand years <laughs> No way. Oh, Dude, that would be terrible. Man-made horrors beyond my comprehension. So, yeah, just something to dwell on a little bit, something to digest throughout your week. That. Feel bad for our cousins who are listening to this episode. Sorry, Grady. Trying to fall asleep. Trying to fall asleep. <laughs> Guys, it, it, everything's going to be okay. Yeah, it's fine. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's good. It's fine. We're fine. Yeah, we're definitely not dreaming right now. Life is real. It is. Trust us. It's not a dream. <laughs> Dude, that would be insane. It, that's like Inception when they go into yeah, exactly. limbo. Oh, medically induced limbo. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what's happening? How low can you go? Yeah, so that's horrifying. That's, that's terrible. Yeah. That, Imagine, a thousand yeah. years? I don't even, I'm not even going to say it. Imagine it. being on the this podcast is, for a thousand years. I wonder if you would know that you were dreaming. That would be the worst. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you'd have to after you've been alive for 200 years. And you're years. literally in a mind prison. Yeah. Just like, 
but it's only eight hours for everybody else. Yeah. yeah. And you it's wake up, it, is your brain your fried? Body. Your brain know. would have to be fried. Yeah, yeah I mean, your brain it's, would be operating for I think what it's seems like a like, thousand years. I think it's really speculatory. It's probably scientists that just said, "Yeah, it's possible." You know what I mean? So it's probably so not they haven't done it to anybody. Actually, been, no, they haven't done it to anybody. <laughs> no, they've done it to like a lot of people. Like a ton they, of people. Did they try it on like animals? <laughs> I don't. I don't know if they've even started <laughs> developing it. Imagine a rat. They Why would they like even? I don't even want that to get to the testing phase. No, definitely not. a thing that can. I barely want it to even be an idea. I don't even want it to be an idea, but it already is. So, too bad. They're thinking about it. They're gonna. Somebody's gonna do it. That's. What do you think about like space time, where you go up there and it feels like a month, but minutes. you come back and it's like it's been a year. What? Yeah. When is that applicable? Movies? Interstellar. In Interstellar, yeah, that's that true. That's like IRL. when you're in, in other planets. I don't know. I mean, it's theoretical. No one has actually done it before. Yeah. Because you have to be very, very like far away from the Earth. Fair enough. Fair Think enough. it could happen. Been. Uh, yeah. Like the theory. Like I don't really know all the science behind. Is it. it like a real theory or is it like a movie thing? No, it's like they the movie got it from real science. Like it's not this just like a made up thing. Right. Like it's a real. There's like a whole process to it that. Because like Interstellar, I know when they were researching the movie and stuff, like they brought in like actual. They say that the black hole that they that was in the movie that they portrayed is like the most accurate depiction of a black hole that's ever been made. Yeah. Ooh. Have you seen that movie yet? No. Yo. I gotta see it. You have, have to watch to. it. I it's must. Good. You have a next random thought. Next random thought. Uh, I was watching a baseball game the other day on TV, and I was thinking to myself, I was like, yeah. uh. Playing is sports is just like going to school. Isn't so it? yeah, you're going to school. Fun. You're going to school to get a job, to find a career, to make good money. To make that sweet move. Right. <laughs> you play a sport. You're moving up. So as you move up grade levels to continue your education. Yes. In sports, like baseball, for example, you continue playing until you get to the big leagues. Yeah. Okay. You go from T-ball, coach pitch all the way through Kid pitch. high school and you you want to be the obviously like even in maybe not in school, but some people you want to be the best. Oh yeah. At, I do. At it in whatever you're doing. So, if it's in baseball, then you want to be the best in high school so that you go to the best college and eventually you go to minor leagues and then to the oh, major I'm the leagues. Oh, the best in college, I'm going straight to the majors. Yeah, sorry, minor but leagues. But you want to play in the major leagues and get paid really well. Yeah. You yeah. just got to keep working your way up and dedicate yourself to yeah. that like you would to an education. Take some kids out of school and just let them do sports for their education. How sick would that be? That'd be pretty sick. Or it's like a it's like a charter school. And then they're just really dumb. Just for sports. Yeah, but they know sports. Yeah. That's fine because that's all we need them to do. All right. My next random thought. What would happen if you told the cashier to tip whatever they want? Mm. Mm, I don't know. What Maybe you mean. they would tip less than you would. Exactly. What would it do? What would they do? Imagine you are, I'm taking, so you're, I'm ordering food from you. Oh, they probably just do 20 You're serving me and I'm just like, hey, you say, you want to leave a tip? And I say, yeah, whatever you want. Well, what would you do? If they were smart, they would take as much money I know, as they but possibly I, could. But people probably wouldn't, I think. I would. No, I don't wouldn't. know if you would. I, I wouldn't. Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't take I wouldn't take all their money. I would just take give a myself a generous tip. Two hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I would yeah. I mean that it must mean that they have money. And they want it. That'd be stupid of you not to capitalize. You ever seen the video? There's this uh, billionaire guy. I forgot who it was. But there was this girl interviewing him. And she was basically asking him how he got his money. Or she's like, what Stealing. What do you think is the biggest... What is the biggest tip you have for people that are wanting to... That want to gain money? So, I mean, some, you know, something Make of that money. genre. And he's like... He's like, uh, he's like, here, you want me to write you a check? She's like, oh, no. He's like, no, seriously, how much money do you want? She's like, please, I couldn't possibly, whatever. Uh-huh. He's like, well, you could have been just as rich as me and then Bill put Gates, his checkbook that's back. Who it was. Is that what it was? Yeah. Have you seen that video? That's It's crazy. crazy. He was like, like literally asking he's like, her. He's I have like, a blank check. Write whatever you want on it. And yeah. she's like, no, I can't. No, I won't do that. He's like, you could have been the richest person in the world. Yeah. 
Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I know. And like, she literally could have, and he would have given her the money, probably. Yeah. Just what would they do, man? Social experiment. Yeah. So now nobody. I'm sure else somebody on YouTube has mistake. done that before. YouTubers, if you're out there, uh, there's a video idea for you. Go to a place, and they ask for a tip. You say whatever you want, and they have to do it. Why don't we just do that? No, because I don't want to. Yeah, but you can like put a max on your checking <laughs> account. Yeah, but that's not fun. It's not yeah. real. It's not real. We could make it real. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Well, we have to go. Yeah. Was that the last one? Yo. That was my last it's one. It's 340. Yeah, we really have to go. We really have to go. Oh, man. That was a fun time. We will see you guys in the next episode. If see you, you enjoy, guys in the next episode. Go to the YouTube, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Leave bye, bye, reviews. Bye. Tell your friends. And we will see you guys <laughs> in the next episode. Peace. Peace. Peace.